Good Hello. morning, Wildcats. Today is April 4th. I'm Lainey. And I'm Sienna. And this is your WCAT News. Ramadan 2022 is coming. Ramadan is the Muslim month for fasting, prayer, and reflection and community. This year, Ramadan is from April 2nd until May 2nd. Happy Ramadan to our students, faculty, and staff. Hey, Wildcats. For today's weather, we have a high of 82, a low of 58, and a 3% chance of rain. Promise this Saturday, April 9th, in Tampa on the Starship Cruise. See Mrs. Dunlap before or after school if you have any prom questions. Please go on to my Pasco in the student app to view Superintendent Browning's important message about fights on school campus. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Amari. I'm Gabby. And this is your Wildcat Sports Update. Tonight, JV Baseball has a home game against Wiregrass at 6.30. That's it. Thanks for watching, Wildcats. Have, have a great, great day. day. We have Wednesday the 13th as an early release and Friday the 15th off for Good Friday. Mental illness can affect anyone. Mental health affects how we feel, think, and act. It's important at every stage of life so that we can cope with stressful situations, work productively, and make meaningful contributions to our community. However, the statistics are staggering. Over 45% of teens suffer from a mental disorder, and one in five teens suffer from a severe mental illness. That's 20% of our teen population. Mental illnesses are brain function disorders. They have many causes and result from complex interactions between a person's genes and their environment. A person struggling with mental health should not be viewed any different than if someone were experiencing a physical illness. Mental illness is not a choice or a failure. It does not discriminate. It can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, social status, ethnicity, or any other aspect of cultural identity. In fact, Mental illnesses occur at similar rates around the world, in every culture and in all socioeconomic groups. The concern with mental health isn't just about the statistics, it's about well-being. It can affect families, friends, and our communities. But you can help make a difference by learning to recognize the signs of mental illness. A mental illness makes the things you do in life hard, like work, school, and socializing. It's also not always clear when a problem with mood or thinking has become serious enough to be a concern. Sometimes a depressed mood is normal, such as when a person experiences the loss of a loved one. But if that depressed mood continues to cause distress or gets in the way of normal daily functioning, the person may benefit from professional care. If you think you or someone you know might be struggling with their mental health, it is best to consult a professional. Early identification and effective treatment is key to treating a disorder and preventing future disability. A healthcare professional will connect symptoms and experiences to help formulate a diagnosis. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for young people between 10 to 24. If you're thinking about suicide, are worried about a friend or loved one, or would like emotional support, call 1-800-273-8255. You may receive extra yearbooks when the books are delivered in May, and we will offer those for sale to the students on the waiting list. To add your name to the waiting list, email the student name and ID to Ms. Ingram, the yearbook advisor, at pingram at pasco.k12.fl.us. Extra yearbooks will be sold in order of the date and time you mean your email is received. Fun fact, we only have 38 more days left of school. If you have any hidden talents or want to be in a new feature for the next for the news, text 813-815-3377. That's all for your Wildcat news. Have a great day, Wildcats.